Hello all. Uh, today we are discussing about the enterprise structure in SAP MM. What is a uh, enterprise structure? If you are asking, uh, we can say the enterprise structure defines various levels in an organization. These levels are placed according to some hierarchy. Like uh, whatever the hierarchy will going to follow in the organization, that will be there in the enterprise structure. Uh, and whatever the levels will be having, they will be having the specific functionality associated with, uh, which will going to uh, describe the working of an organization. And uh, if you are, okay, in SAP MM, if you are looking at uh, what are the different uh, uh, organization structure is there means, uh, first thing we can see the client. Okay, here client is given the uh, prime and foremost important over here and next comes the company code, third one is the plant, under the plant we will going to assign certain storage locations, storage locations and uh, fifth we can consider is the purchasing organization, under that we will going to get the purchasing groups okay so this uh, simple and uh, very effective enterprise structure we can uh, see over here okay first we are looking at, at the client okay then the company code plant store location purchasing organization and purchasing groups now we'll going to discuss about each and every one if you are looking at it uh, it in the diagrammatical way we can see like this okay the prime importance will be given to the client over here then comes the company code under the client we may have the n number of company codes that is possible and these company codes will be having the plant under them okay these company codes uh, one company code uh, can have a n number of different plants that is possible and plants will be uh, 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 will be having the storage locations under them and whatever the purchasing organization i have shown under the storage location don't ignore this, uh, please ignore this actually this purchasing organization we may assign it to the company code or else we may assign it to the plant okay that will be there we are going to discuss okay what is this purchasing organization and why we find okay and next comes the purchasing group purchasing group is nothing but they are the set of people okay group of people we can say who are associated with purchasing of something okay so that is what our purchasing group is all of now looking at the client okay first we will going to go through the client here client is a commercial organizational unit in a r bar 3 system we have seen what do you mean by r bar 3 system here r refers to the uh, real time integration of the real time data processing and uh, 3 refers to the three tier architecture and in the three tier architecture we have seen that there will be a client and uh, again comes the server okay under the server will be having the uh, database and will be having the application so uh, you know about these things so here client will be having a prime and foremost importance it has its own set of master data with a independent uh, table sets according to hierarchy uh, client occupies the highest level in a sap system and data that is maintained at the client level it will be valid for all the organizational levels if we are maintaining something at the client level means it is applicable for the company code client storage locations and everything okay we can uh, say that so next uh, going through the company code okay so the company code will going to come under the uh, client and it is also having its uh, independent account in accounting units like if you are considering a, a maruti company that company might be having a different set of company codes okay under maruti we may be having a different set of company codes each company code will be having their independent accounting unit because uh, whatever the profit is there whatever the losses is there they can analyze through uh, whatever the um, what is that uh, uh, accounting they will they will be having independently okay so that is why they will be having the uh, independent accounting unit and it is a legal entity that has its own profit loss and the balance statements we can say the company code is the smallest unit in an organizational uh, level okay so because it is just uh, uh, within the small room we can have the company code Okay, so that is how we can mention the company code here. 
coming to the plant okay so if your plant is nothing but it is an organizational unit uh, within a company company code where actual activities takes place okay a uh, plant may produce the goods or it may uh, go make the goods available for sales as well and uh, in the plant okay we'll be having a uh, different types of plants uh, so plants like assembly uh, assembly plants and uh, some manufacturing plants will be there so like that will be having a uh, different plants it is a physical location okay in the org unit we can say plant is the biggest of all the organizational uh, units within the org structure okay and it has uh, uh, having a manufacturing facility a warehouse distribution center or a regional sales office within the logistics and uh, we'll going to get certain storage locations under the plant these storage locations will be assigned to the plant and here the storage locations might be having a different types of storage locations like you your company might be uh, bringing the raw materials okay raw materials they may be bringing the uh, finished goods or else they may uh, work the raw materials and they may uh, do the finished goods okay and they may be having the some semi finished materials semi finished goods uh, okay or semi finished materials sorry semi finished uh, materials okay and uh, uh, some okay you can have the uh, different store locations it is depending upon the uh, business um, what is that process okay so here whatever the raw material we are using the for this they may be having one uh, storage location separately for finished goods they may be having one storage location and semi finished goods they may be having in the storage location under one plant we may have the n number of storage locations that is possible and what is storage location it is also like a storage location is a organization unit which uh, uh, actually differentiates between the uh, uh, material stocks within the plant okay as i said a uh, raw material okay we can't sell the raw material if the finished goods is there then we can sell it just it will going to differentiate the materials and uh, uh, storage location is the place where uh, where stocks are actually are physically kept okay a plant can consist of a consist of multiple storage locations all data is stored at a storage location level for a particular storage location only okay coming to the purchasing organization okay here we can uh, say purchasing organization will be of uh, two different types one is we'll going to call as the uh, centralized centralized purchasing organization and another is the decentralized purchasing organization we uh, we can just discuss on this okay what is centralized and what is decentralized let us consider okay and just remove these things let us consider you have a company okay for okay, company code okay some company code you are having under that you may be having a plant 1 plant 2 and plant 3 you may be having a three different plants so here no uh, what let us consider about the centralized purchasing organization centralized purchasing organization is nothing but a purchasing organization which is connected to the company code means whatever the purchasing activities are there for the company code entire company code that will be taken care by the purchasing organization means under one particular company code how much ever the plants will come no all these plants uh, whatever the purchasing activities will be there that will be taken care by the centralized purchasing organization and you may ask what is decentralized purchasing organization okay it is nothing but uh, the purchasing organization which is connected only to a particular plant okay or else we can also call this uh, decentralized purchasing organization as plant specific purchasing organization plant specific okay okay plant specific purchasing organization so this will be like what you mean by plant plant specific purchasing organization this only okay considers the purchasing activities of a particular plant okay whatever the purchasing activities are taking place at the plant one okay that will be taken care by the Uh, purchasing organization which is assigned to the client one here okay 
so it is not at all related to the whatever the procurement activities are going to take place at the plan 2 and plan 3 so that is why this is called as a centralized purchasing organization and most of the uh, companies okay so they will be having a, a decentralized purchasing organization only because it will be really really helpful for um, what is that uh, uh, profit and losses whatever it is happening at a particular uh, purchasing organization that can be analyzed over here as well as uh, and w one plant will be having a uh, so much of different tasks okay so one person means uh, if only one purchasing organization is there at the company code level it is very tedious task to uh, bring whatever the material are required for a, a, a different plants under this company code so that is why having a decentralized purchasing organization is really really important and you might be bringing so many different materials let us consider you, for your plants you, know, you might be bringing the if it is a mechanical plant you are bringing uh, metal sheets sheets okay metal sheets or uh, you might be bringing the uh, rods okay some plastics plastic material and uh, you might be bringing some uh, fiber material like that you may be having a different types of materials here. what do you mean by purchasing group here purchasing group is nothing but it is a set of people or the group of people who are responsible to procurement of certain products so that is why i have just taken these examples some group is there okay let us consider purchasing group one this purchasing group one okay whenever the requirements are there for the metal sheets okay this purchasing group one is the responsible uh, group to purchase all these metal sheets there may be n number of metal sheets okay the thickness will be varying and uh, the uh, what is that quality will be varying and for which activity they want to purchase which will they are going to get it from the end user no they have to uh, contact different vendors for this and they are going to purchase this metal sheets with a profitable price okay under the profitable price and some PG2 is there, a purchasing group 2, they are responsible for purchasing only the uh, rods, okay. And some purchasing group 3 is there, they are responsible for only purchasing of this plastic, plastic materials. Okay, like that we can consider, the, I think you are getting these points, okay. So this is how we will going to differentiate, means uh, define the R structure, entire R structure, okay. So you can have, if you, if you are having any doubts also, you can just comment uh, below and just answer to whatever the doubts you will be having, okay. So now we will going to, means uh, from now we have to go into the system, okay. Now we have to, initial thing is we have to define the R structure into our um, uh, SAP system, okay. So I will going to stop over here okay so uh, in the next class we will ju jump into the sap system and we will going to define the entire power structure thank you